Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I'm Shekhar Gupta in New Delhi and my guest today is somebody with a formidable job and with a very tough case. In fact, he has to speak for the future of nuclear energy in this increasingly skeptical world, also in an increasingly skeptical country, India. Uh, Yuki Amano, Director General of International Atomic Energy Agency. India is as tough a place as any to go to these days for you. But this is a very nice place. I'm very happy to meet you and I'm very honored to be invited to your program. Thank you very much, sir. But uh, as I said, I mean, you kept, we have this conversation almost on this, almost exactly on the second anniversary of yes. Fukushima. Yes. Uh, there are doubts about nuclear energy all over the world. IAEA got the Nobel Prize for promoting the idea of peaceful uses of nuclear energy. Do you still have a case or is the case lost? Fukushima accident was a huge accident and very severe accident and it was a very difficult thing for me because it happened in my own country, Japan. Yes. And just after the accident, many people believed that this is the end of the nuclear power. Two years have passed and our worst elements have already in the past. What is happening now? Some countries like Germany or Italy or Belgium decided to Italy, fade out. Italy is in very bad order in my country <laughs> these days. <laughs> so, so I so don't think, don't think we are going to follow anything <laughs> they've done. Some countries decided uh, to uh, phase out uh, from nuclear power uh, or decided uh, to change the course. But it means many other countries continue to use uh, nuclear power as an important option. And according to the IAEA's latest estimate, by 2030, there will be increase by 23% minimum or 100% maximum. So nuclear power continues to be an important option for many countries. Because uh, since Fukushima, in fact, the first new plant has begun to be constructed. It, it's in UAE. Yes. Uh, UAE is uh, the first country in right. the 27 uh, years uh, that a newcomer joined to the, uh, this to area. nuclear energy. Yes, yes. So that's right. Yes. But what do you tell your own Japanese countrymen who are so doubtful about nuclear energy? They've been demonstrating. Uh, for the uh, Japanese, I would say uh, that there were, of course, uh, the accident was caused by its huge tsunami and earthquake. But there were a lot of human errors, and uh, people got a little bit uh, complacent, especially uh, the, uh, the utilities. That was a huge wake-up call for the safety. And after the Fukushima accident, lots of um, improvements has been made, have been made uh, to enhance uh, the safety level. But, and I saw it uh, in India. But uh, you examined safety levels in India. Are you satisfied with them? Um, we are not um, um, the um, uh, inspectors on right. safety issues. Right. Right. Uh, we are helping our countries uh, to improve the safety. And the um, important thing is to learn lesson uh, from Fukushima and think jointly how we can make it safe. You, know, you talked about sir, uh, human errors in Fukushima. Yes. Uh, but that's the worry that you have human beings everywhere. So human errors in driving a car may lead to one or two deaths. Very sad, but one or two deaths. Human error in flying a plane, hundreds of deaths. Human error in running a nuclear plant, God knows what will happen. So that's the worry. Then why take the risk? The, uh, I'm presenting the other uh, case yes, to you. Yes. Um, there are uh, a lot of things uh, that we can do, um, uh, learning from the lessons uh, from Fukushima. Uh, for example, uh, people thought in Japan uh, that blackout will not happen in Japan. It did. Uh, so the emergency diesel generator uh, should be Properly well, blackout installed. means a complete power outage. That's right. right. That's right. So that is not a problem in India. We are used to them. <laughs> and also, uh, the uh, water is needed to cool down uh, the, uh, the yeah. plant. And uh, I, I visited uh, Tarapu, and I saw uh, the um, uh, outside hookup is now installed, right. and they are painted in red. So one can see immediately. Oh, in the emergency, we have to hook up uh, the water to this uh, pipe and then um, reactors can be uh, cooled down. And right. that is essential in case of accident. Was Fukushima an obsolete reactor now? Would a newer reactor have survived this? 
I don't say uh, that uh, old reactors are dangerous, new ones are safe, but it is obvious uh, that new reactors uh, can take lessons uh, from the past experience. Uh, but old uh, reactors uh, can be also safe um, uh, using uh, the retrofitting, for example. See, as, as the foremost spokesman for nuclear energy globally, did it get you angry the way Fukushima was handled? Were you irritated, upset? What are they doing? They're damaging the cause of nuclear energy. Because you are on your own side. On my part, I concentrated my efforts uh, to help Japanese uh, to overcome uh, this um, uh, difficult uh, phase. And then uh, I tried to uh, pass the information to everyone in the world. Now we are at uh, the post-Fukushima phase. So my priority number one is to implement uh, the plan uh, that everyone agreed after Fukushima in order to make nuclear power safer.